Hey guys, Tubular. Today we're going to be checking out the Tier 4 Durflinger. There's Hyde. Uh, more of an Axie build. Uh, we got Dimitri Dewey for enhanced penetration on the shells and then Sharnhorst accuracy. That's eh, not a bad idea to run the non-secondary build on this particular ship. I, I just checked uh, prior to making this video. I do have 7.9 kilometers if I put the secondary mod in slot 1 and go with my really strong secondary build with Ciliax. That 7.9 isn't bad, certainly not for a tier 4, so I'm going to leave that on there, try it a few times. Uh, but in terms of volume, of course you have fewer secondaries, the lower the tiers generally, and the range much shorter, you know, compared to like the tier 7, uh, Zeitner or whatever it's called, I think that's 11.8 kilometers, so... That's, you know, basically four kilometers difference, but, you know, obviously a few tiers higher as well. So if you want to go secondaries on this, that's up to you. Tier four would be the one ship in this line that I really don't uh, favor it. And keep in mind, too, the tier four and the tier five Mackinson uh, lower caliber guns on some of these secondaries. So we're going to be getting less raw damage anyways uh, using those guns. So here we got the Axie build. It's the, uh, we're on the closed side attacking this a cap if we're c i call it open side closed side on this map uh if we're playing c for instance the open side is the south the blue team in this case and the open side on a here is the red team where they have more room to work with so uh we got a dangerous proposition here destroyer rushing a duca now destroyers rushing cruisers are already problematic uh but those sap shells you can just see how quickly the duca tears him to shreds. So the game is not off to a great start here. Uh, we'll see if, if he's able to survive, but he's taking a lot of damage. we got the Gulio coming up around here as well, Tier 4 Italian. Uh, very strong. And the Farragut's asking for help uh, right before he goes down there. He had two cruisers chasing him. So, you know, unfortunate to say the least, uh, but if you're if we're attacking these clothes sides here, as a destroyer, maybe a cruiser, even a battleship, we want to kind of have as much information as possible before we're committing into that, uh, into moving into the cap. So, like if you're a destroyer, you got a radar cruiser or something like that, that can be a problem. Duca with the SAP again, very uh, dangerous for the destroyers. And we weren't in a position to really help him because I was attempting to play the right hand side gap here. If you got three ships attacking the cap, I like to spread them out a little bit and usually moving over. Uh, to the other gap. That can be pretty profitable. We're getting some decent shots on the Duca, though. Uh, he's on the ropes here. I'd like to get him down. Looks like the teammates uh, in the Trento get him there. So, great job. And we're just going to move into the cap. Now we know who's over here. We got the Gulio and the British Heavy Cruiser, whatever that thing is, Surrey or whatever. So, we're going to have a torpedo threat from the cruiser. Uh, the Chisare. Not so much. Of course, you could try and ram us, but I would say the uh, Chisari is definitely more valuable than the Durf, so in an even HP trade, that would be a bizarre uh, play to make. Yeah, we're getting some secondaries going off, and again, keep in mind this footage, we don't have the secondary build, so they took a lot longer to kick in. But even if you're playing an Axie build, moving this thing in and getting some secondary hits, you're kind of stuck with the secondary booster mod there anyways so if you can get it going might as well pop the mod and see if you can get some damage trying to pile up on this guy though he's uh coming in here we've been getting a couple decent shots 10 12 14k type shots here want to get him off the board we need to get a as quick as possible they got c <clears throat> uh and they're looking pretty good on b now we got a destroyer on the cap but he's surrounded he's got a cruiser and battleships a cruiser to the south and battleships immediately to the northeast so how he's not getting spotted at the moment, I'm assuming he's in the smoke, but he's in a very precarious position. So we need to be wrapping up this cap as quick as possible, uh, making sure we kill everything over here, and then uh, project power into B and hopefully capture it. I was trying to shoot that guy one at a time just because I wanted to hopefully kill him with one or two shots and then fire at this Nuremberg, for instance, would have been a nice play. Unfortunately, it took all <laughs> four shots to uh, get the... Just sorry off the board, but he is off there, so getting the Gulio dead is always a good thing. Devonshire here, he's got about 5k health. We're going to try and move forward here. Are in the process of capturing the base, of course. We would like to uh, maybe just sit there and capture without, you know, taking a shot in return, but 
again, we need to be doing uh, everything as rapidly as possible because the game has not been going that well thus far. Eh, we're up two shifts. What are you talking about? Well, we're only up 111 points, all right? And we should have uh, significantly more, but due to the fact that Red's been controlling the caps better than we have, uh, we got some work to do. So there's the Jaguar. He's finally leaving the cab now as he's getting pressured, um, but lost a lot of HP there. It's... It's kind of one of the things that Destroyer players, you need to keep in mind. Like, he was on the cap. He's saying to himself, okay, I want to capture this base. It's important. Maybe he's listening to me or someone else or he just figured it out on his own. I preach all the time, capture the base, capture the base, capture the base. That's what we need to be doing. But the thing is, if the Jaguar is on there and the Nuremberg is also on the cap, you are no longer going to capture the base in that situation. Okay, so you got to make a very quick decision. Can I get out of here safely? What's the best play to make? Uh, but waiting until you get physically pushed out of there, losing two-thirds of your HP, eh, not the best. All right, so a willingness to disengage. Just because we're on the cap doesn't mean we have to die on it or take a lot of damage at the very least. Uh, we got the Nuremberg low here. Speaking of dying, hopefully we can get him off here, and boom, down he goes. Now we're up to three kills now, 70,000 damage, so at about 20k more than our base HP. Not too bad so far. Contributed more than we could potentially cost our team in terms of team HP. So that's good. And, uh, the Destroyer did manage to stay alive. That's also very nice. Um, if I'm him, I'm maybe thinking, could I get to C safely? If Red is attacking B. If he doesn't think he can get to C safely, and he's got nine minutes, so that might not be a bad play. Oh, there's the Farragut. Uh, but getting into a position to spot the battleships would also be a good play, because when you're low HP Destroyer like this, your playmaking currency has already kind of been spent. Uh, and great uh, effect. So anyway, swinging around here trying to get the Farragut uh, down with the guns here. Of course we got AP loaded and that's fine. We'll still do a fair amount of damage if we're going to hit him with these shots. And he's only got about 5k left. Eh, I'd get him about, what was that, 2,000, 2,200, something like that. So just shy of half his health. Uh, secondaries, once again, we're in the range and we got the secondary module going here. That tightens up the axi, increases the firing rate. Uh, it's a very... Strong module. I know a lot of you guys don't like to use that. And holy God, look at these widespreads. Uh, still wind up taking one on the nose, but that could have been a devastating strike if he had launched them in a sane and rational manner. But he gave us a nice easy out there by spreading the torps out so far and wide for us, so that was appreciated. And yeah, trying to get the double on the Nevada. Come on, we got to swing those guns over there. Shot up into the superstructure. Only got one hit. No damage. Probably hit the turret or something, so... No double there, unfortunately, Little John, and the Bull Bite sponsor won't be <laughs> making an appearance. I uh, should say that, though. We're closing in on 25,000 subscribers. If you guys would uh, consider subscribing, that'd be outstanding. Uh, once we do that, we're going to activate some giveaways. And we do have a new Bull Bites channel. You can check the, uh, the description down below for information on that. Uh, don't really know what it's going to become yet, but... It's kind of an early prototype, so if you enjoy this channel's content, you can consider subscribing to one or both channels. It would definitely be appreciated. Getting back in the game here, well, we got the Durf on the ropes, and we got the fourth kill. Can we get the fifth for the Kraken? Well, it's looking not good. He's taking a lot of shots here. Drives by one of the battleships, uh, and we get the shot on it. Boom! There he goes. We get the Kraken there for the fifth kill. So not a bad game in the Durf. Kind of the most vanilla out of all the new German battleships in terms of playstyle or whatever, but still pretty effective and fun in close range. So that's going to do it for that one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming for you all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you, and we'll see you all later. Peace.